Good evening. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch and it is Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. Um, let me know if you can hear me. Okay, I can see that we are live. Just waiting for that first comment. And while I'm waiting, okay, there we go. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Sharon. And Jean. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to go share the video real quick. Um, where am I going? Here we go. We are live. How are y'all doing? Awesome. Good. Okay, everyone's doing good, and you can hear me. Uh, let's see. i got to change this over to, I'm going to pop out the chat so that I can see y'all. If this is your first time here, first time watching, let us know so we can say hello. So Joanne received the bag. Yay, I'm glad you like it. Okay, so I've got live chat. I've popped out the box. So we are ready to get started. Um, let me move my face over to the corner. Here we go. Now, that's, this looks so yellow tonight. Does it look yellow to y'all? The screen looks a little yeller. Let's see if I can change it real quick. Um, hmm. How about that? Fancy smancy. Okay, perfect, right? Uh, okay, I got to find y'all's comments again. Where'd you go? There you go. Um, oh, Melissa. So I'm going to show some of those pictures of Olivia. So Melissa said she loved the family portraits of Olivia. Me too. I'm obsessed with them. Okay, so the, the temperature is better now that I've adjusted the color, right? No more gold looking. I think it's the temperature is now better, right? Okay, so on Friday, I shared um, week 10 of the 12 weeks of Halloween. Can y'all believe it's almost over? And so this is the same box, but we made it bigger, much bigger, right? Uh, so this is going to be the holiday version of week 10. Okay, so let me move everything over. I'm going to put the measurements in this on the screen. And don't forget, they will be on the free PDF uh, over on my website later tonight. And I do actually have it all done. So as soon as we sign off, I'll release that blog post and you'll have them. Okay, so here's all the stuff. I'll do some commercial breaks um, in the middle of the video. The stamp set that we're using tonight is North Pole Mischief. I love this set. So cute, right? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do. Now, people that don't like to fussy cut, I'm going to go ahead and warn you. You're not going to be happy tonight. But I think that this project is so worth it. And I'm hoping that I don't mess up. But I could. Um, I'm not in any hurry. So um, I'm going to take my time. Okay. Yeah, don't we wish this image had a die? <laughs> but it does not. the greeting and I have extra um, cards 
Ruh row. That's a little fuzzy, right? Let's tr try that again. I can tell that I tried to clean my image and got a little fuzz on it. So let's do this. Let's just get that fuzz off. I can still see it right there. That's because I used the baby wipe instead of the Simply Chamois. I should be using the chamois. I'm lazy. Um, all it requires is me going to the bathroom and wetting it. Do y'all do that too? Yeah, and it's not like the bathroom's upstairs like it was in our old house. It's literally <laughs> 10 steps that, not 10 steps, but like 10, 10 steps in that 10 feet, not 10 steps. That's better. Uh, I need the distraction too. So Pamela, what's going on with you? I um, was going to wait till later to talk about this, but we've got some coloring to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, oh, say a little prayer tomorrow. I had a mammogram last Friday and now I have to go for a biopsy tomorrow. I'm kind of a nervous wreck about it. Um, but... Yes, this is all the markers that we're using. So, I will say that if you're late getting your mammogram, not that y'all came here to listen to that, if you're late, go get her done, because I skipped last year, and I guess I should not have. Um, I'm hoping, is there a glare where I'm going to color? I think there kind of is. I'm wondering if I need to change some lightings. Um some lightings, some lights. Um, okay, so if you need a water break or to go grab something, I'm going to be coloring for a little bit. So yeah, now's the time to go get a drink of water or something. I'll try to do it fast, but um, I don't want to mess up. So I'm not really going to go fast. Plus, I think even with the coloring, um, we're still going to finish probably on time. So I'm taking the dark uh, Poppy Parade. I'm assuming that everything's going to be okay. That's really the only way we, we can be, right? Yeah. It's the waiting that's the hardest part. Well, and I won't be able to lift anything for a week, but anywho. Um... I'm done with the dark poppy parade and now I'm going to use the light poppy parade. You know it's so strange too because um, if you watch the news at all you just heard Katie Couric talking about how she was six months late and I'm like oh dear I'm a, I'm a year behind. I'm a year late. Ugh. All this women's stuff I swear. It's exhausting. Um, you know, while I'm also coloring, because I've got a lot of coloring, I might as well talk. Uh, did y'all check out the clearance rack today? Um, there was, you know, in the sometimes we have really good things on the clearance rack, and then sometimes it's kind of a dud. Today we had some really good stuff. Uh, I actually ordered a little bit because um, the prices were really good. Uh, did we all able to get anything? If something, um, if you saw the list over on my, oops, I went out of the lines. I posted the full list um, on my blog this morning. Once an item sold out, it disappeared. So if you go and look now, and it doesn't look like there's much there, it's because they sold out. I have not checked it in a while though, because I was busy trying to get everything done for tonight um but yeah there were some deals to be had today i like when i see stuff for two and three dollars don't y'all i also ordered the paper pumpkin um treat bags um oh man that was such a good price Move the cardstock underneath and that will help. Okay. So Lola says she has, don't, oh, don't color with the cardstock underneath. You're right, because that will, um, 
let me see what can I get yeah if I color with that it's gonna go you know it kind of don't go through though if it does I'll get another piece how about that yeah okay the next color I think I'm done I'm done with that one now we're gonna take crumb cake so I'm gonna start with the dark and just kind of go around the outline of the cat so right before I went live like literally like 30 minutes ago Brooke uh, calls me and says that um, her smoke alarm went off she turned her furnace up and and there was smoke in her apartment well the birds can't have smoke it they're very fragile critters um, so she called maintenance they came and checked it out so I swear it is like there is something always going on do y'all feel like that Does it, do you feel like your life sometimes is like a, a little mini soap or a roller coaster it's like every day of the week there's something <laughs> maybe that's normal I don't know Yeah, so Chase and then woke up this morning with no heat at all. So that was what we had this morning was that Olivia is only five weeks old and they had no heat in their house this morning. Turns out, I guess the city where they live had had some kind of leak or something and they shut off the gas. So luckily it wasn't anything major. It was just... Um, the gas was shut off <laughs> but he had to pay to be told that that's well it was cheap compared to what it could have been I'm going to take the mint macaron now the light and the dark and we're going to do the um, present now and the same thing I'm going to go along the edges with the dark I always say you color however you want um, one of these days I'm going to learn how to be all fancy, but right now I'm okay with just going around the edge and like I did with crayons. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Hi there. Okay. So some of y'all did get the, um, the clearance rack. Oh, Pamela, what happened? Goodness gracious. I'm going to try to scroll back and see if I can see what happened. Oh, that's so terrible. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, light mint macaron. Yes, you are definitely, your town is definitely in our prayers. Your friend... You definitely need a distraction. You know what? While I'm coloring, I'll tell a couple jokes. How about that? Um, I tried to find cat dog jokes today. Remember that show? I don't think I ever watched it, but my kids did. Um, what kind of place should you never take a dog? A flea market. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with that one. Um, what do you call a dog who is getting old? This is Balmy Blue, and I'm only going to use the light one on this one, and I'm just going to color his collar. I kind of see that I went out of the line on the, on the ribbon there. Okay, so we're done with that one. Grandpa is, is what you call a dog who is getting old. P-A-W, Grand P-A-W. Uh, Daffodil Delight for his little uh, name tag right there. And I don't need the dark. And um, why do I have this? Oh, that was from, <laughs> you don't need pumpkin pie. That was from when I was, um, I filmed week 11 of the 12 weeks of um, Halloween today or yesterday because 
I'm not supposed to be, you know, cutting paper or doing anything for the rest of the week after tomorrow. So, yeah. So I'm just going around the edge of this little puppy with the light gray granite. And then I'm going to ever so slightly um, use my color lifter to kind of lift the color back out. But be careful when you do that because um, you can um, make your memento ink fuzzy. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to take the fine tip, but I'm just barely going to touch it. Like, I don't want to get into the memento ink. And if you want to skip this step, you can. It just kind of creates a shadow. Now, are y'all ready for the fussy cutting? Let's see. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to, oh, I got ink on my finger now. Um, I'm going to take my paper snips and we're going to do some fussy cutting. But first, I'm going to trim this out um, so that it's really small. Okay. <laughs> Kimberly says that she loved cat, dog, and ch cow and chicken. Um, I don't remember cow and chicken. Was that really a show? Okay, I'm not going to talk now, so I'm fixing to just mums the word. I started on the most difficult side. Um, my next video, I was thinking, I didn't want to talk, but I'm going to talk. A little bit so my next video will be Friday for week 11 of the 12 weeks of Halloween and then next Tuesday um, we'll do the holiday version with a slight change um, we'll make it bigger and change the stamp sink and paper <laughs> I'm thinking as I slowly go around this dog. When y'all looked at the box, did you say, oh no, she's fussy cutting? Or did you think, oh, that's so cute? Let's get that out of the way. Okay, now the whiskers. I know y'all are wondering, how come I didn't go ahead and cut this part out? Because it's very delicate. I got to get this extra out of the way. I'm hoping y'all can... Oh! I almost cut his tail. Okay, now, I got that out of the way, and I'm ready to finish that part. Did I get it? Ugh, I did. Okay. Not too bad. I could have done better, but y'all were watching me. Now, trim that off. The whiskers are a little tricky, but... Because there's going to be white cardstock behind it, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. 
I feel like I keep hearing a noise upstairs. I wonder if David's home. Chase and uh, Jessica, are, they're having a, a privacy fence. Um, well, having. No, David and Chase are building a privacy fence. So they started on um, Saturday. They put the post in, dug all the holes, and started the post. On Sunday, they finished the post. And then last night, tonight, and y'all know what I mean? They're still working on it, but they're almost done, believe it or not. Okay, so look how good that looks. See, it looks good, doesn't it? For the greeting, we're going to take, now look, I went ahead and got the Fiskars one because I keep using the Stampin' Up! one and no one can get it, so I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get the one that I keep giving all y'all the link to. And then that way um, you can see that it works just like the other one. It's just slightly different. Not by much though. Okay. Now, the rest of this is going to be done. Let me show you the difference. So see, I'm going to take this one down to the lake house, I think. Okay, now we're going to cut this with our scissors. So it's not going to be perfect. We don't want it to be perfect. Um, and every single word, let me get this over here so you can see. Yes, he had to pay $75 to find out that um, the gas was turned off. Yeah. But, you know, it's a lesson that next time he'll know how to check that stuff. The only way you can learn, really, a lot of this stuff in life is just by something happening. We've all been there, right? Maybe not with that situation, but... Okay, so see, we're just cutting every single... Um, every word out okay so <laughs> I don't want to throw away the wrong pieces remember last week when I lost the little bird I did find it afterwards by the way but so that we don't lose the bird I'm gonna put my pieces in this bowl um, so that I don't mess it up when we get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. Whoa, I almost dropped that one. One more. Okay, so all my images are in my bowl. That's going to set right here. And now we're going to get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. Okay, so this piece measures what? Let me pull up the measurements again real quick. Um, I'm going to slide them over here in the corner. You know what? I don't have the scoring measurements on it, do I? So this measures 11 by 6 and 3 quarters. And um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here's my measurements. Okay, so the, on the 11 inch side, I'm going to score it at a half an inch, four and a quarter, five and three quarters, and nine and a half. I think I jumped the track. I'm not sure. I did. Okay, and then on the six and three quarter side, I'm going to score it at one and a half, five and a quarter, and six and a quarter. Okay, I can close that now. So we're going to fold on all the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. 
I gotta find y'all's comments again. I haven't. <laughs> it is horrible that he had to pay seventy-five, right? But you know what? When you think about it, the end result. I mean, he could have been a whole lot worse. It could have been. It could have gone out, and he had needed a new unit. So I'm like, you know. I $75 is a whole lot better than what it could have been. So I personally am like so thankful that that's all it was. Yeah. I try to look at the positive part of it because who it could have been so much worse. Okay, I don't have my box template over here with me or do I? Yes, I do. What am I saying? I got all this stuff ready yesterday because um, I knew I was going to be kind of nervous today. So I just forgot that I had it. Okay, so you know what? We're going to take a commercial break for just a second. Um, Chris Ann, uh, she said, thank you for the Carolyn My stamp set. You're very welcome. Okay, so for some housekeeping commercial break, um, Let's see, what's first? These are our winners for last week. I can tell you that only one person has claimed their, their winnings. So Rita claimed her uh, Halloween drawstring bag, uh, but Judy and Catherine have not claimed theirs. So um, these are the winners for last week. Today's uh, YouTube Chick Candy uh, these are the items, and um, the way that you enter to win is um, you leave a comment in the comment section after the video is over. So right now we're chatting in the chat box, but when the video is over, uh, you're going to leave a comment in the comment section. So gift number one is going to be Cottage Wreaths Stamp Set. Gift number two is the Cute Stars Adhesive Back Sequins along with some mini Stampin' Dimensionals. And then number three is going to be this plastic tote with Miss Bella and it has a chick stand and a liquid glue. And uh, I will draw the winner on Thursday morning and let you guys know. And if you have any questions, uh, just use the chat box now and ask. Some of the ladies will will answer you and I will too if I see it. Uh, Chick Candy 153 this is the blog Chick Candy over on my website and it's this fabric basket and celebrate with tag stamp set and celebrations tag celebrations tag dies and you get um, two entries for every fifty dollars you order within the dates and then you get one entry for leaving a comment over there on that blog post. Okay, so that is, um, that's the chick candy. This is my current host code. So if you use this host code, minimum $50 order, you get to choose your gift. So you either get a full pack of designer series paper, the assortments, um, that's a $12 value. So you can choose subtles, regals, uh, brights, in color. Um, there's a bunch to choose from, or you can choose five peekaboo treat bags and an entire roll of the black and white gingham ribbon. You'll use this little QR code to select your gift. If you don't select one, you'll get the peekaboo bags and the gingham ribbon. Okay. And if you'd like to join my team, I would love to have you. There's a special right now. You get $155 of product of in your cho of your choice, blah, 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 I can't talk. $155 in product of your choice. So whatever you want. And if you need help choosing your kit, just let me know and I'll walk you through it. I will say I always ask you what your favorite product is because you may not like what I, um, what I recommend because, you know, if I said, oh, you got to have real red cardstock in your kit and you don't even like real red, then you're not going to be happy, right? Okay, I got to go back to the chat box and check on y'all. Um, <laughs> so Rita, you've been tracking your Halloween uh, drawstring bag. I'm officially out of drawstring bags. I'm hoping I feel well enough to sew this weekend, but I don't know. It's, it's Unfortunately, it's on my right side. 
and I'm right-handed, so grr. Okay, enough about me. Let me um, move this up, and um, now we're going to cut the box. So y'all can see it, right? You've got this half-inch side here and this half-inch side up here. So we're going to start over here, and we are going to remove... that. Oh, I was a little aggressive with that cut. I'm going to turn this fan off. Okay, now this. I don't think y'all could hear it, but it, I felt like it was distracting me. Now down here at the bottom, and the box template is on the, your printable, and you have a box template just by itself. Okay, now we're going to trim the two bottom tabs, or I like to say angle cut on the uh, PDF or the box template. And then trim this one. And then up here at the top, we want to fold that down. We want to cut this one off and then angle cut and then this one right here and angle cut now before we go any further we need to round these corners Becky I would love to have you join my team Hi, Kathy. Oh, so you're so Cynthia says that her great granddaughter was born on October 13th, and Olivia was born on September 13th. Y'all remind me to show you some pictures. Oh my goodness, I'm just I'm just so in love with her. Oh, yes. Everybody said it would happen, and I swore, I swore I was not going to be one of those grandparents that made everybody look at all my pictures, and I am. <laughs> I am. I take it all back. I'm always eating my words, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> you know, I did forget to get my clip. I think I can reach it. Okay, so now we're going to put our tear and tape on this part right here. Here's my tearing tape, and then I need my little card to rip it, tear it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I posted a few on my blog. I don't think many people saw it because I think there was only like three comments, but um, I did post them on my personal Facebook page. Um, okay, so I'm going to remove the backing to the tear and tape and then fold this over. And then that is the back of my box, and that makes this the front bottom. So I'm going to put tear and tape on this part. I think she was like nine days old when they did the uh, photo shoot. She was teeny tiny. Well, not really. I mean, she was almost a nine pound baby. So you can't really say she was teeny tiny. <laughs> she was bigger than her daddy. Chase was eight, five and a half. Uh, and she was uh, eight, nine. Okay. There's that. And then now we need to add our designer series paper. I'm going to grab a, a little clip real quick to close the lid. Thank goodness I'm organized, right? Um, yeah. I keep all my clips in one drawer. Um, okay, paper. 
I'm going to get my silicone craft sheet so that I don't get any glue on my table here. I can't wait until she can paper craft and sew. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to force her. No, I say that. Um, I say it because I don't have any family members that stamp. I mean, not a one. Sometimes I'm, emb I'm embarrassed about that because it's like, okay, what's wrong with me that I can't convince any of my family the problem is, is that I never really try to convince anybody. I don't really force what I do on anyone. I'm always just like, okay, I love what I do. And if you want to, I'd love to have you. But I'm not one of those people. I'm not a salesy person. Uh, I don't think I am, am I? <laughs> a lot of my customers are on here, right? <laughs> I'm not a salesy person, right? When I love something, though, I feel like I can sell it. Just not to my family. <laughs> Um, okay, is this upside down? Sometimes I get, when I look at this paper, I love this paper, but sometimes I'm like, did I just put that on backwards? I'm the same way with downline. I don't ask them to do anything other than what they want to do. Wow, 10 pounds and 15 ounces. Goodness gracious, that's huge. I thought that 8 pounds and 9 ounces was big. It's almost time for a new liquid glue. Oh, grr, that's too much. Let's slide that down. We're almost done. I'm not decorating the back today because I don't want to run out of this paper. And I don't have a bunch of it left. So y'all can decorate the back, but I'm not. <laughs> okay. So here's my little clippy. We're going to take two pieces of the uh, soft succulent. Even though this is mint macaron, the soft succulent looks great with it. Don't you think? Um... So I'm going to take two pieces that measure 16 inches, I think. I think that's what I remember. And then I'm going to tie a bow. It is the best, you know, and everybody kept telling me and I'm like, well, I was, I have been a mother. Like, I know what it's like to be a mother. How can it be any different? Oh, it's different, all right. Y'all were right. Once again, y'all were right. I was wrong. It is very different, and it's very hard to explain. Maybe it's because we're not sleep deprived, and we get to we get to go home and get some sleep, and our meals aren't interrupted. I don't know. <laughs> there are no words. I sat and held her again um, on Saturday. I took them. A, I made a big pot of chili. Since David and uh, Chase and one of their friends was helping them build the fence, I cooked a big old pot of chili and a big old pot of chicken noodle soup. But I went down there and took them the chili and I sat there for, uh, I think, maybe three hours and held her and fed her and held her. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it was fabulous. Okay, a mini glue dot. She just, she still just eats and sleeps. We did eat, eats and sleeps. Yeah, that's right. Eat and, eat, eat and sleep. <laughs> Not eats. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. I did, we did put her on the little play mat on her little belly to, you know, force her to use her little leg muscles and everything. And it was so cute. Okay, so there's the ribbon. Trim it a little bit. And then now for our images. I'm glad I have this bowl because I'm pretty sure that all of that would be in the floor right now. 
So I'm going to take my liquid glue and add this right in the middle. Rot roll. I forgot to mute my phone. I have an old iPhone that I use to record my videos, and then, of course, my new phone is the one I have phone service with. That one don't have a phone service. It's kind of like, uh, like an iPad, right? So now we're going to be using Stampin' Dimensionals, and we're going to use both the regular size and the minis. Here's another joke for you. What, what, why are skeletons afraid of dogs? Let me get these greetings out. Because dogs love bones. I'm going to attach mostly first with a mini dimensional. <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing at that joke that I haven't read to y'all yet. What do you call the cat that was caught by the police? I'm going to put three dimensionals on this one. <laughs> the perpetrator. Perpetrator. <laughs> okay. This is going to go here. I have one more. If lights run on electricity and a car runs on gas, what do cats run on? This is one of those trick trick jokes. Their paws. <laughs> uh, isn't that so happy? Oh, the glare. Got to finish it. So now we're going to add year with a mini dimensional. And that's going to get added right about there. And then <laughs> Do y'all like this project? Oh, where did that go? Whew. Let's just start gluing these things down. Um One on that one, on that one. So like I said, the PDF will be available afterwards. Um, give me about 15 minutes to get all the links. I have to get the link to the YouTube video and then post it on my website. But about 15 minutes is all I need. Um, okay, so I need good... I need good and this. So I'm doing them, um, I guess you could say backwards, right? Start at the bottom and go up. Okay, you like it? <laughs> Thank you. I love it. But you know, I also love this stamp set. So it just makes me crack up. We, I think we've, anyone that's had cats, we've all had cats that have attitudes. Okay, so what do you think? Pretty fabulous, right? Makes me happy. So this was the Halloween version, which was smaller. And then this is the holiday version, which is bigger. Uh, this box measures uh, five by um, three and three quarters uh, by one and a half. Well, that's kind of crooked. <laughs> I kind of went over on the edge. There we go. Um, and I didn't show you what fits in here. And I, I don't really know because I haven't put anything in there. So we'll take this clip off here and uh, Oh, goodness gracious, what did I do? Huh. Oh, I opened the drawer. That's what I did. <laughs> Sorry 
about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, my uh, my cart hit my boom. <laughs> okay, so back to uh, what will fit in the box. So these are the Walker shortbreads, and as you can see, there is a lot of room in there. Okay, let me try not to hit the boom this time as I open this drawer. I'm going to grab a bunch of stuff. So a Kit Kat bar has lots of room in there. Um, the, the, um, <laughs> I have to tell y'all, when I went to film the video for these things, I started cracking up laughing because sometimes I act like a child. I'm just going to admit it. Uh, I, I, so, as you can see, there's lots of room in there. I couldn't say the name of those because I kept cracking up and my husband was like, you're so crazy. Uh, if you sew, alpha bitties, uh, will they fit in there? Kind of at a slant. Um, caramel apple with peanuts. This box will hold um, a lot of stuff. Those little fruit pies, it'll hold a bunch of them. Probably three of those if you put them in that way. Um, those quilting pans, probably two packs. Let's see. Nope, just one. One and some candy. I have not gotten... I still have not gotten a moon pie. I'm so sorry. Thread. Lip balm. It has a lot. So it's a big box. So the sky's the limit. If you have something that you want to know if it fits, you're welcome to um, contact me and I'll let you know. But so far, everything that I just showed y'all fits in there. Yeah. I need to go to the store and get some moon pies. Our grocery store don't have them, so I have to go to the Dollar Tree. Um, okay, I'm going to scroll back now and look and see what questions. Um, <laughs> Lisa said, now we all know your secrets under the desk. Yeah, well, I have a drawer here that just has a bunch of things. <laughs> Um, okay, let me scroll back and see. Uh, and if you ask a question earlier and I missed it, feel free to post it again, okay? Okay, so Mary Catherine said that it was worth the fussy cutting. Thank you for saying that. I agree, it is. And, you know, you could cut out uh, a big square piece of, of basic white cardstock. And you could kind of sort of maybe make it fit, but it would not look as cute. Okay, let's see. Oh, Cliffy says she's never not liked a project that I've made. That's nice to hear. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Okay, so I don't I don't really see any questions, and if I missed one, then just let me know. Um, okay, so what paper am I using? This is the Santa Express Designer Series paper. Santa Express. I'm sorry I didn't say that earlier. Yeah, I told you the stamp set, but I didn't tell you the uh, the paper. Santa Express. Y'all want to see the pictures of Miss Olivia now? So for those of you that um, are not friends with me on Facebook, because um, I did post these on Facebook, but I know a lot of you guys are actually not on Facebook, but look, look at this picture. I'm obsessed with this one, right? Oh, she's just so adorable. She's like a little doll. She's seriously like a doll. Um, okay, so that's my most favorite. And then, um, let me show you, look, look at Jess. So that's Jess and Olivia. 
This is Chase. Isn't it just beautiful? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this one. That one's cute. I don't think I posted that one on uh, Facebook. This is another beautiful one of both of them. Or all three of them. I got one more. Oh, well, that's a good one too. I'm not sure I posted that one. Look at, look at how she's all curled up. But I got one more you got to see. No, two more. Look, she's smiling in that one. Oh, so precious. One more. This one where she's in Chase's hands. Isn't that just a keeper? I'm going to get like an 18 by 20 of that one and put it on the wall. Look at her legs. Oh, gosh. I just love her so much. Okay. Uh, any last minute questions before I sign off? Oh, thank you for your prayers tomorrow. Yes, I won't get any results tomorrow. Just the biopsy. We're going to assume that everything is going to be okay. Um, yeah, we're going to assume, right? Um, but yeah, I would definitely appreciate your prayers for sure. I'm terrified. Um, I told the lady I have zero pain tolerance. I tell y'all that all the time. I have zero pain tolerance. She said that if it hurts, if I feel it, just tell them. They'll give me more medicine. I'm like, okay, that's what I want to hear. Uh, will a fat quarter fit in this box? You know, I don't actually have a fat quarter in here. Um, I have a little mini, uh, mini charm uh, pack, but I don't have a fat quarter. But you could if you rolled it up a little bit different. Yeah. And I don't have a miniature bottle of liquor, but Cynthia, if you would give me the measurements of a little bottle, uh, do you mean those little, those little ones you can carry in your purse? <laughs> I don't actually have one in my house. Um, I would assume that probably three of them would fit in here, but if you give me the measurements, I can check for you. Yeah. Uh, Okay, let's see. Any other questions? Thank y'all. Uh, Mary Catherine, is that, that's good, right? Calcium deposits are good? I don't know. This is new stuff for me, so I don't know. Okay, I'm going to sign off. Give me 15 minutes. Your PDF will be available. Um, and don't forget to leave a comment afterwards so that you can enter to win um, the chick candy. Oh, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, okay. Y'all have a great night. Um, next video will be Friday and then the following Tuesday. Okay, see y'all later.